hello beautiful and wonderful people welcome back to jinamon channel if you are new here it's so great to have you please don't forget to follow my page and subscribe to my channel as well in today's recipe i'll share with you how to make homemade mackerel in tomato sauce this turn out is so delicious it's very easy and trust me once you do it you make this every day let's get started so these are my mackerel my mackerel that i'm using and i didn't let it defrost completely it makes it easier for you to take out the goats so i went ahead and cut it into smaller pieces um my size depends the size depends on you how you want it if your mackerel are a little bit bigger than mine you should know how or how many pieces you want to divide it i'll then go ahead and take out the guts as you can tell from the video it came out easily i'll cut the things and then make sure everything is cleaned well This like so i went ahead and wash it like twice wash it well and then the next thing i'll be doing is grating lemon zest on it this like so i'll then go ahead and add in the seasoning which is fish seasoning garlic powder ginger powder white pepper and salt i'll mix it together to well combined cover it with a clean film and marinate this for at least one hour and this is it i'll set that aside whilst i go on with the sauce for the sauce i'll add olive oil to my saucepan followed by onion and yellow bell pepper you can use green bell pepper red bell pepper you can mix all of them but this was what i was having so i added it to it and then i added in crushed garlic chopped abinaro pepper i'll cook this for about five to ten minutes or until it softens up i'll blend this until it's smooth and then continue with the next step so keep on stirring if you have to add in just a little bit of water to help cook for it to soften up. Do it, add in water. So this is the consistency you're looking for. Once it turns like this, add it to your blender, blend it and add it back to the saucepan. I'll then add in my tomato puree. So if you don't have this, you can use the fresh one. Take out the seeds, blend it and then add it to it. I went ahead and added in fresh basil leaf and rosemary. I'll stir this to well combined and add in about a, te a tablespoon of tomato sauce, a tomato paste, and then vegetable seasoning and just a little bit of salt. I'll stir this together to well combined and add in the fish. When making this, make sure you do it in a huge bag because this is so so delicious. You can even keep some, uh, keep some for your next um, if you want to use it. After I close it and bring it to a boil for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I added in Worcestershire sauce and brown sugar. I'll cover this. I added in a little bit of water. Sorry, my camera didn't take it. I added in a little bit of water and then I closed it. I let this cook slowly on the gas for about 30 to 40 minutes in total. So if you are doing it in a huge batch, no need for you to turn it back. Mm. My was my was having only two macros at home, that's why. I then cover it and then bring it to a boil for about cook slowly, bring it to a boil for about 30 to 40 minutes. And this is it, guys. This is ready. Just look at the sauce. It was amazing. <laughs> it's just so, so delicious and i hope you're going to give it a try just look at this beauty the beauty of this macro just look at it guys i hope you're going to give this recipe a try why don't you give me a credit by giving this video a thumbs up share comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you can give me some stars i'll be very very happy <laughs> Because now things are expensive, oh. so if you don't share, I wouldn't get the views, and if you don't get the views, you don't gain. So, guys, please help share this video. Let this video go viral. <laughs> 
I need your support, guys. I need your support. Please help me. Let's grow up this channel together. And just look at this amazing, this beautiful sauce. It turned out so, so, so delicious, guys. This with your cooked rice, with your yam, with your stew, your rice. Trust me, it's so, so delicious. Lastly, I added in um, fresh basil and then um, spring onion. So that is it guys. <laughs> Just look at it. Wow. So delicious. Your guests will fall in love with you if you make this for them. And just look at how tender it came out, guys. Look at this. <laughs> love you all. See you in my next video. Till then. Bye bye.